the godfather of California real estate investor and you may have heard of him. Why? Because this guy called the collapse of the California real estate bubble. Now, his last name is Norris. Not that guy Chuck, but this guy, Bruce. Now, he just had an event a few weeks ago and he said some powerful things. So check out this highlight clips of what he said. The latest numbers in the housing market have not convinced economist Gary Schilling, a longtime housing bear, to change his uh, cold forecast. Schilling still holds his prediction that home prices will fall 20% more and dismisses talk that the market has bottomed. Well, I beg to differ. Tonight I'm going to share some charts with you because some of the decisions that are being made, such as let's bulk sale REOs because apparently the market won't absorb them, or let's consider eminent domain because things are so bad that we have to solve it in, in that way, um, I hope what I share with you tonight allows you to know that that's certainly not necessary. Our basic business model is we take this house and we turn it into that house. This is a real example. Um, this home was worth $356,000 at the uh, top of the market. Unfortunately, we bought it for a little less than that, $64,000. And we put thirty-five dollars in it and we kept it as a rental. But the problem for California real estate is across the street, somebody owes three hundred and fifty-six dollars on that house. And everything you've seen over the last four or five years has been an attempt to solve that problem. There was an example in Moreno Valley where somebody owed, say, two fifty dollars on a two-bedroom house. It, it went for fifty-seven to one of our investors. The owner was given $25,000 to agree to the transaction. After closing costs, the lender netted twenty-three grand. The owner who was current on the payment had twenty-five grand. By the way, can that owner go buy another house right away? Yes. Does he have the money? Yeah, we just gave it to him. What a cool deal. In 2010, we foreclosed on 22,000 people. That's 65% of the annual sales volume for 2011. They're going to show up in 2013 on top of demand that we provide as investors, on top of Wall Street's demand for properties, on top of normal buyer demand. You have big piles of people on top of that. So I'm, I'm really sorry, Mr. Schiller. Mathematically, it's virtually impossible when you have one month of inventory to have a price decline when you have excessive demand. It doesn't make any sense to me. All right, I hope you liked this video and to end it and top it all off, take a look on some of these blooper clips from all the shenanigans we've been doing for the last 36 weeks. Hey, what's going on guys? Jeff Coe here and there was a bee. This is how we clean floors out here so you don't hurt your back. What you guys know about bacon nets? It's zero net carb, hot and spicy. This is the food for champions for real estate investors. Vive hoy! What the heck does that mean? Anyone? Leave a comment, please. This out, it's the leather, pleather, pleather pleasure. I don't know what I just said right now. It's gonna be exciting uh, if we can get there first. So hold on for a second. Yeah, I'm in the wrong street. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what this is, ladies and gentlemen? This is called the Thomas Jefferson switches. I just made that up. <laughs> All right, we're out here on project. Sorry. <laughs> Ticket, see? This is what happens. This is what happens. Freaking underground railroad. I'm about to go down there like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is ridiculous. You tell me. Look at this. <laughs> see what happens? Call, doing business while you're driving, cleaning houses, checking out your rehab project. That's life, folks. All right, so if you haven't seen the old stuff, click on the videos. And if you want to check out the new stuff, click on the videos and leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next Tuesday on Flippin' East TV.